Hello and welcome to the Would You Watch It With Your Mother podcast, where three friends subject each other to weird videos, films and shows that they found on the internet. Each week we'll describe the videos, have a discussion about what we saw, before finally asking the big question, Would You Watch It With Your Mother? So sit back, relax, and roll that intro. coming back there he is right because it's dav (laughs) (laughs) you fools you thought it was gav but it is i dav dad dad in your bath dav in a bath nope 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 nope, nope, i'm going back (laughs) what's wrong with the dad in the bath no dads don't have baths that's that's just a lie I've, ne- I've never heard of this, yeah. They all do not wash. Yep. <laughs> I mean, there's there's you other ways to bathe. Who? 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 Oh, you know no, who, I know. You know who does oh! wash? <laughs> the main characters in Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Do they? I don't know. I closed my eyes for... They, they told me to close my eyes. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, there was a, a thing that came up saying... <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Are you disgusted by the human body?" Yeah, you should probably close your eyes until the music's over. And I, you know what? I, I thought that was good advice. <laughs> All right, who want? What is this? Plumbers oh, don't I wear know. ties. Do you want a description? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, hello, editing Barnaby here. I'm just uh, adding this in to explain that later on in the video slash podcast. Sorry, audio only listeners. I promised that I would just play Plumbers Don't Wear Ties in its entirety in one of the corners. So that's why it's going to appear and then keep playing. Hope you enjoy. You're going to get one anyway. Plumbers Don't Wear Ties is a dating game that looks like a photography student's PowerPoint presentation layered with scripted voice acting. (laughs) We follow the story of John and Jane, who are both single and heavily being pressured into finding love by their overbearing parents. <laughs> One day they just by chance happen to romantically bump into each other on their way to work, and the game begins. You are greeted with a weird man who tells you that you're going to make decisions and try and make these two get together by the end of the game, and he's going to judge you on your decisions along the way. Uh, where will the game go? That is a matter of your choices in the ones we watched, uh, there were some very sexist moments and a Benny Hill chase scene done in one of the most spectacular PowerPoint presentation styles I've ever seen. Uh, I don't want to go into too much without spoiling. I don't know the other endings, so I feel like we should just start oh. talking about it. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to send you guys something. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I've seen all of the different routes. I, I see. I oh, didn't I'm get glad to watch that you them went all. and looked at the other ones. I, I, I did see that there was. Rabbit a, hole. I saw there was a I speed was... run for like gay percent, and that's all. I was there like, there's some, there's some endings on this, isn't there? <laughs> Send you something in the Discord. Okay, I can't look at it. Um, oh, Bushby, what is it? Why's my phone? <laughs> well, it, it's obviously the the greatest. I mean, I, uh, I kind of take don't your watch damn it. clothes off. <laughs> 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 what? Okay, I okay. I think Gav's uh description was very charitable. What? Don't you mean Dav's description? Oh, sorry, Dav's descriptor. <laughs> because again, as a massive middle finger to the audio only listeners, <laughs> uh, Gav is gone. Dav is here and he's wearing an eye patch. Yeah. What do you mean wearing? This is part of me. This is my skin. Oh right, yeah. I forgot. I forgot about your your. How rude. Okay, we're moving on. No, no. You will not distract from Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Uh, so before we continue, uh, I'm curious. I've got two questions. Right. Question one is, I'm going to go out on a limb here and it say, is this worse than Tetsuo? Was this uh, worth I, to sit through? I like this. I actually enjoyed watching this. I can't lie. Right. Okay. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> This is probably one of the most entertaining things you said. It falls into the category of so bad it's amazing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I also find it far more uncomfortable. 
Oh yeah, there's a there's lot anything of anything <laughs> that we've sent, I've sent so far. Bushri, what, what? How you're thinking? You're having a think. Yeah, I'm. I'm just like. I mean, because I actually managed to get through this in in one go. Exactly. Oh my was, god, that was my next I, question. I, I, I know. I mean, it was it was very <laughs> very grating. Um, <laughs> I love the long it, silences. <laughs> right, we should probably explain. Yeah. So when Gav said that the well, fuck it, whatever uh, Gav's twin is called, <laughs> um, uh, we'll call him John. Um, what? Um, <laughs> when Gav said that this is like a photography project, Gav's not lying. Where it's literally a slideshow, mm-hmm. and there's voiceover of it, and it, none of the pictures are of the same quality or um size so you're constantly watching images like resize from like square to to vertical constantly um this game was marketed as i guess i'm going fully into it um but sorry i'll explain a little more clearly what this is so yes it's a very charitably it is a choose your own adventure game charitably let's call it that yeah yeah where you get choices you get so yeah john jane they both wake up separately and randomly meet each other and jane is going for a job interview and john is just there from what i remember Mm mm-hmm he's just in the area i don't know they they spot each other on the way to work yeah but why John, is John, John just there? pulls up because he's there like, damn, girl. Oh, uh, right. You cute. Yeah. So then Jane goes into the office and gets what I could... Yeah, she gets sexually harassed by mm-hmm. her prospective future employer. Um, though Bushby might know because there are other options. There is a different option you can go for. Did you watch the BDSM one? <laughs> Yeah, if you can, if if as Jane, because then you're suddenly Jane at this point, you can consent to the boss's advances. Basically, he's trying to sleep with Jane. Yeah, uh, and then she takes her clothes off, and she's all she's just already wearing like dominatrix gear, <laughs> and has a whip. I, I I distinctly remember she has a whip. <laughs> no, she doesn't have a whip, but there are whip sound effects. Yes, like, yes. She pulls out <laughs> handcuffs <laughs> from. Somewhere. I can only keep. I can just like I can't describe that we're literally just watching images, and it's not like there's a lot of images one after the other. Mm. There'll be like twenty seconds of dialogue on one image, and we can only just guess what's going on with sound with sound effects. So like, yeah, she takes off her clothes and then talks, but there's no sign that she has a whip. But then there's whipping noises. Um, yeah, but anyway, in the, I guess what is the c- canonical ending, Jane rejects the boss's advances, and then the boss, like any s- sane, rational man, tries to murder her um, <laughs> yeah. with a pen. Oh and then God. John is, oh yeah, because John has just been hanging outside the building. He doesn't know Jane. He doesn't know that she's going for a job interview. She could have been in there all day. They literally met. In this, on the road, she saw her, and then he was like pulled up behind. He basically started stalking her. Yeah, so John starts her. stalking her. The other guy's trying to kill her. Um, I guess the only difference between them is that John is conventionally attractive. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they chase each other, and they end up in a warehouse. I think that if I remember correctly, the chase scene lasts for like fifteen minutes. Yeah, the chase scene Oh, it's is... long. There's moments where John is literally, like, in front of the guy with the pen trying to kill her. And then there's moments where he's, like, about to catch him. But it feels like they just had the wrong music. It needs Benny Hill music. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think you can loop the Benny Hill's theme song for 15 minutes. Also, as I said, with the, with the, the, the precondition that none of this is full motion. Mm-hmm. And with just watching not even sequential images... Because they'll be chasing each other, and then there'll be like a blooper image of yeah. Jane topless, or she's she's got a bra on, um, just chilling out with the boss and John, like at a ferry. Uh, uh, sorry, a merry-go-round. I think my favorite. And then one. they will go back into the chase. 
was they yeah. were like the, my favorite one was they were by a train at one point and the boss oh, has, gets tied has down. caught her <laughs> but instead of killing her she's like tied to the train tracks next to a train and then the next shot is she's running away again and i'm like what's going on in between these thick like, photos i actually almost forgot about that <laughs> yeah. it's one of the best moments <laughs> and i can't i can't forget to mention that in between all this, when you get an option, there are narrators. No, yeah. sorry. <laughs> they start, they begins with, it begins with one narrator who's dressed in a suit and a police, like, military helmet. Yep. And yeah. then he's giving you the choices. And then near the end, this t- n- fiction, nar- fiction narrator hijacker. Yeah, she hijacks stories. No, knocks him out, and then hijacks the show, and then she gets killed later. Yeah, he comes back, he wakes up, he's there with a gun, and he's like, this is my fucking game, what the fuck are you doing? Please stop. And then, she, and then he shoots, and it's they put, like, bullet holes across the still image to, like, emphasize action. It, did you guys see the the path where the I think he takes it back and then there's like dogs barking and clapping? No, oh, right. No. That was just in my playthrough. Then um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a scene where um I can't remember exactly what happens, but dogs just start barking and clapping. I just like for frame it. reference, I sent. I sent these guys a playthrough of it because the only... I could find a ROM of the game, but it was a bit dodgy. So mm. I didn't I didn't want to risk that. Um, yeah. Because, I, I mean, I think even if you had a legitimate disc for this, I think it would dirty your computer. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so, where were we in the actual plot? Yes, they, they finally all meet together in a warehouse... And then the boss decides to not kill her, and then they start haggling for Jane's body, is all <laughs> I can describe. <laughs> yes, it, it's literally like, well, tell you what, instead of killing you, I will give you five million pounds for one night of bonking. What do you want to do? <sighs> yeah. And then... But she considers it, even though this man has just tried to kill her. Well, yeah, that's it. Why is that? Like, the two choices. It's like, well, you can either say Jane can do it or she can fuck off. Oh, did you guys get the path? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I've, I've watched this many times. I didn't want to subject myself to it again. <laughs> did you guys get the path where John is saying something like, um, yeah, I'm I in love, love with you or something? Yes, And then he yes. says, I'm in love with me. Yes. And then they, like, yes! keep the blooper in. <laughs> He's like, I'm oh, going to pretty and slip that. I'm going to keep this in the script, man. That was brilliant. And then we just had like, this is, they, they clearly just knew that this was going to go in regardless of whether they edited it. They were like, yeah. But no, this feels like, a, I, I see, okay. I don't think that was an actual blooper. I think they were trying to be really meta and kept it, like, rooted oh, yeah. into the script. I think. I thought they were really funny because I don't believe that any of this was actually filmed because all of these look like still photographs. So I don't believe that they would. They actually went to this location with a stills camera and recorded the audio, then took the pictures. I find it far more likely that they took all the pictures and then recorded the audio, or vice versa. Mm. So unless in the recording... But, but then I'm confused, because the pictures that are coming up at this moment show them all laughing, like it's a blooper. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I think they wrote it first. <laughs> I think they have to. Definitely. I think so. I'm 100% sure. Uh-huh. And then, I believe in the ending that you guys got, John and Jane leave together. Yeah. And start their lives together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even though she ending. doesn't believe he's a plumber. <laughs> because plumbers don't wear ties. Well, oh. actually, on that point, the game is called Plum. I know this is an old joke. It's been done everything that covers this, but plumbers don't wear ties. Yet, in John's introduction, when he's getting dressed, he puts on a tie. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Mm. I just... <laughs> it's a good. It's a good game. <laughs> The, the, oh um, my god non-hollywood ending though that's interesting <laughs> what's the oh, right. non-hollywood oh, right. ending do we want to talk about the alternate endings <sighs> yeah i don't know what the alternate ending is I'd, okay so please enlighten I'll me get, i'll get the other alternate endings out while bushby goes through this one so uh the the alternate ending i saw was essentially um jane decides to tell john she has a bit of a secret in which she says she's a virgin and she always wants to stay a virgin. She loves John, but she's got a <laughs> destiny with God to become a nun. Ah. Ah, okay. Um, didn't see that one coming. I, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, and it so. just kind of ends like that and John's just been like, well, you, you know, you could always, you know, attempt it. And then she's like, no. And then he says, right, well, I'm, I'm going to leave because I'm going to go see my mum. So fuck off. Yeah, that's <laughs> the gimme. Gimme something completely different ending. I guess it's different. It's not. It's not um, it, it, yeah. Okay. So there's a there's apparently a crucial choice that you could make. So all the other choices don't really, all the other choices that you make don't really matter because if you do the wrong choice, it'll play a scene and then just kick you back Mm -hmm. to make the choice. But there is a crucial scene where when John sees um, the boss who's called Thresher, Mm -hmm. um, he can choose to chase Thresher or not. Ah, yeah, I know. What happens if you don't? Yeah, if John doesn't chase Thresher in the parking lot, Thresher will seduce John. (laughs) <laughs> and the two will suddenly become a couple. Yeah. I saw the speed run of that one. That's the gay percent speed run on speedrun.com. <laughs> oh, oh Bush- my god. <laughs> really? Yeah. They just walk off I mean, back to the office. In in like in the intro, obviously, like the conversation with John and his mother on the phone, his mum does get really concerned that he might be gay are you gay mm-hmm. john are you gay <laughs> don't tell the, you're gay john the bit that concerned me is when he goes no and she's like oh thank god that i'm like wow <laughs> he's no wonder he doesn't want to come out to you jesus christ mm. oh my god um maybe but, john is bisexual or pansexual i mean we don't get any confirmation mm-hmm. mm. um, but <laughs> All we know is that the mum and dad seem to be really terrible people. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Like, with Jane's dad, where she just... Where he's like, yeah, I know a couple of lads who, you know, they're a bit quick and easy, but at least they'd sling a baby up you. Like, <laughs> be a decent human being. For fuck's sake. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It just kills me. <laughs> yeah. This the thing is, it's also kind of like there's moments in like the options where I feel like it's self-aware, but I don't know if it is. I think it is, but it's also like painfully not at the same time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, do you want to go? You want you want to know the other ending? Mm-hmm. There's God, one other uh, ending that we haven't discussed. So oh, yeah, if you don't chase Thresher, then you can hook up with him. Um, if you do. There's the ending where um, you get together, which I mm-hmm. guess is the canonical ending. Uh, then there's the gimme something completely ending where Jane becomes a nun. Um, and then there's the ending where Jane... Um, yeah, Jane accepts the five million dollars for sex with Thrasher, which is what they end up agreeing on. Mm-hmm. Um... It's. I haven't seen this ending, but it says here John has to marry Amy, and I don't yes. know who Amy is. Oh, she's the girl. Amy is the girl from the front, the f- like right at the start, like the one his mum's trying to set right. him up That's with. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. they have three kids together to please his mother, and then Jane gets into sex work, which I mean, good for Jane. Um, Seems to be good money in yeah. it for her. I mean, I, I imagine mean, the game is trying to say that that is a bad thing. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> knowing this game. Uh... <laughs> but it, it's very kind of like, I mean, for, for John's overall character development, it, it's very much like uh, he goes from... He has character well, development. I, I, well, that's that's the thing. Like, there's Kent barely more anything. Character development than him. <laughs> but no, there's there's like barely anything. There's no real leeway apart from apparently he might end up gaying one ending. Um, <laughs> but then with Jane, it's literally any way from dominatrix sex worker to nun. <laughs> that is it. It's just there's so much. <laughs> It's like whatever route you choose. It's like where is she gonna end up? She she just has. She simultaneously has like the most character out of anyone, but also none. Yep. And I think that's only through the charisma of the actor playing her. <laughs> um. One other thing I wanted to say before I get into the deeper facts. Uh, I believe in the the video I sent you. It doesn't have the very beginning, but basically when you plop the CD in. There right. is an actual piece of full motion video where it, what? Jane Jane talks to you and is moving. It's incredibly lo-fi, but she's talking to you and she's sort of explaining the premise of the game. I don't but believe But the camera <laughs> sort of zooms in on her breasts and then back of course out. It does. Which Fucking perfectly course it does. sets the tone for this weird <laughs> game. <laughs> Which I, oh. yeah. Um, I mean, I figured that was generally the premise of what they wanted people to be focusing on. From half of the shots in the photography. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Where the centre is the, it's just the boobs. That's, that's the centre of, like, half the photos. <laughs> admittedly, the game does give you a lot of John's ass. True. It's like ass and tits. That's, that's how I would sum up half the game. Yeah. Oh, oh, did you guys like the beginning dream sequence with the panda? With the panda? <laughs> God, yeah. Where he's sleeping well, and then he's dreaming just... about race cars and then there's oh, a panda yeah. in a race a car. <laughs> the, the best thing about that is like majority of those scenes like a, a, it's like a negative image. But then there's just the panda in the race car that's not. It's just, it's just there. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I, Okay, I'm sorry to the listeners for any incoherence. It's just this game is incoherent. It's, um, I, again, I really struggled to call it a game. Have we covered everything? Have we covered everything that we want to here? I think so. <laughs> um, yeah. Aside from it doesn't okay. feel like a game. <laughs> uh, well, okay. So, plumbers don't wear ties. Originally made for the PC in 1993, the title was also released for the notoriously expensive Panasonic 3DO console. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of information. So back in the early 90s, the two big console manufacturers were... Manufacturers? Manufacturers. Turned into a baby. Um, Manufacturers. Manufacturers were Nintendo and Sega, with Sony coming up. Uh, And then a bunch of other people basically were trying to get in on it. Uh, Philips tried, Mm -hmm. uh, failed. Atari tried to come back, failed. And then Panasonic tried. Um, And at the time of of the 3DO's release in 93-94, it was probably the most advanced console. Like, it could fully play CDs and, like, there just hadn't been anything like it, really. Um, there was the Sega CD, but it was a lot less powerful. This is like a precursor to like the, the PlayStation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm-hmm. Um, the gimmick with the 3DO, however, was that Panasonic... So what other video game companies will do, is so like Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo all still do this now. They will... If you want to release a game on their console, you have to pay them either a percentage of what you get from the game or an upfront fee that is a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, the gimmick with the 3DO is that all you had to do to get a game on it was pay three dollars per disc as a publisher, and okay. then you could just get it out there. 
This had the adverse effect of making the Panasonic uh, 3DO incredibly expensive, of like 700 US dollars in 1993 money. Mm-hmm. So Jesus. that's cut like a, at least $1,200 or something. Um, and also adding to that, anyone could release anything pretty much on it, which is why it ended up having a lot of low grade edutainment games and a load of smut. Which I guess is how this game got onto it. Yep. Because it didn't (laughs) sell well on PC, and then it ended up on the 3DO. (laughs) I'm surprised it didn't start Um, on 3DO and move to PC, honestly. That's what I was expecting. uh, Well, I think it was made beforehand. Ah, okay, okay. Um, So the game itself was made, and I don't know what this means. I'm guessing this person put it together. By a guy called Jason Chen of Kirin Entertainment. And it took me a while to figure out what this was. Mm-hmm. And apparently it's a, it was a subsidiary of a company called Digital Stuff. Which... Wow. Uh, I searched Digital Stuff and you can imagine the results I was getting. <laughs> not helpful. Do you know what my um, first thought was? Turned... I thought it was like what? another, like an off branch of like Lagoon Games, a throwback to like. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I was like, where I thought this was gonna go. <laughs> Say what you want about Incredible Instant Adoring Boyfriend. At least it moved. <laughs> At least it moved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. <laughs> um, I think it about had the, the same same budget. Yeah, um. both to do with dating. I was like, is this going to be like another Lagoon Games project that I just didn't know about? <laughs> so Digital Surf turns out to be, interestingly uh. enough, a um, a retailer of digital stuff. So like video games, DVDs, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, which I found very interesting. So I guess it was a co- like a, a retail store that then tried to get into video games. Mm-hmm. Um... And yeah, digital stuff was was a local retailer in Vermont, California. So you can tell this was filmed in California because it's quite sunny. The background is very California. Mm. Um, Kieran Entertainment did actually make a few other games in the 90s, but they were last heard of in 1990, 1998 when they were trying to promote their game Incubust. <laughs> I couldn't find any information about what Incubust was. Sounds like a hentai game. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then I couldn't find any information on Jason Chen. And someone else wrote the game, Michael Anderson. However, he has no internet trail. Um, and, however, the only piece of information I could... Well, I I should preface this. I could not find any information myself. All this information is coming from a Twitter thread uh, by Josh Fairhurst, who owns Limited Run Games. Uh, Gav might know them. They do, like, re-releases of old games. I don't, I couldn't tell you. Like, physical. Well, anyway. I should credit, I should put credit where credit's due. Mm -hmm. Good research, because I couldn't, this is all I could find. Um, So, yeah. Anyway, back on to Anderson. The only piece of concrete information is that the script for Plumbers Don't Wear Ties is still copyrighted by Anderson's United Pictures company. Right. (sighs) Okay. Yeah. What else? Uh, There is a surprising amount of information. Um, So this is information I managed to find separate of this Twitter thread, uh, mostly because it's fairly public information. Um, The guy who plays John, Edward J. Foster, appears to have not done anything... Um, oh no! After this, oh wow! Paul Boker, who plays the boss Thresher, was apparently in two other two movies, mm-hmm. but I don't think they're particularly popular movies. I'm, I've never heard of them. Right. However, Jane, the best uh, one. I can't pronounce her name. Jean. Jean. I think it's Jean. It's spelled J E A N N E. So Jean. Yeah, Jean yeah, sounds right. I guess. Yeah. Jean yeah. Basin is really interesting. She, I'm not sure what her career is. I think she's just an actor now, but at least at the time of the recording of this and a bit before, 
She was a professional wrestler, actor, model, and stunt woman. Amazing. Her wrestling name was Hollywood, and she was most famous for being part of the Gorgeous Lady Ladies of Wrestling, which was popular in the late 1980s. Wait, isn't that the one where the, the Netflix series with uh, Alison Bray? Isn't that about that? Is it? Oh. Uh, gl- glow. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, the wrestling one. I don't know. Yeah. I will have to check this out and confirm this. I, I, um, I if mean, it's the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling, then yeah. I'm I can't sure imagine. that's it. Oh, please but... look this up. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, also... Uh, another piece of information about Gene Basin. Do you guys remember that film, uh, Silent Times? It was 2012. It was it was it was a silent film. No. That I believe won the Oscar of that year, or at least was nominated. Well, okay, very classy movie, basically. Um, and she was apparently in that somewhere okay in that film so she's been in an oscar at least nominated film that's pretty cool she at least she's gone to do something even if yeah the john travolta looking character didn't um well i imagine i imagine edward j foster probably you know had a good has had a good life i hope he's had a good life after this but i, I mean pretty much everyone except for gene basin has no i, I almost like, paper trail. feel like he was just a model that they hired. He looks like a model. Yeah, that He's that was very, my first thought. Very striking. Hmm. So I just wondered if he was just a model and he like he didn't actually he was never an actor because that was like you don't need to be an actor to be in this game. Mm. It's just photo shots. Yeah, well, interesting thing on that before Bushby comes back to us with some information. So the mum mm-hmm. of of um, John. Is actually played by two people. What? <laughs> one person as the pictures, and one person as the voice. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean that's not too bad. That's that's like voice acting. So I mean anyone can do the mom. Like in um, a... yeah. So other than that, I have. I, I stopped looking for information at this point because mm-hmm. I, I was just going to go down weird rabbit holes. Except I did want to read out the back of the box because this did have a physical release on CD. Let's not forget. So most, most of it's pretty boring information. Right. Um, but I just like the bit that says... So it says playing the program. So, I mean, we'll, we're at the, the fringes of this kind of memory. Um, so anyone younger than us probably won't remember getting little like setup mm-hmm. um, instructions for playing PC games. Yeah, because now you can just you know Inst- as long as your PC can run it, it can run it. Download it and go. Um, the first instruction for playing the program is turn on speakers and grab your favorite beverage. Oh, <laughs> that's really nice. <laughs> Sit tight, uh, get some popcorn. <laughs> And that's the last that this game is wholesome. I don't know. The um, ending's pretty wholesome. If it was... Depends if, which one you get. Well, true. <laughs> the one we saw where John's like, I've loved you since the day I met you. And he's like, that's today. Which is today. Yes. Uh. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> um... So yeah, I only had one more piece of information, and this is not directly from me, but apparently, so reviews of the game, every single review I've seen, criticises the controls for being bad. Now, I want to I let that <laughs> sink in. All you have to do, it's just to make it clear, all you have to do in this game is scroll through menus... And not even a big menu. It all fits on one page. And it's three choices. <laughs> of all the things yeah, all to criticise. All you have criticize. to do is click. <laughs> the menu is not the... No, just... What? <laughs> you don't need a keyboard at all to play this game. You need one mouse key. <laughs> that is it. How... <sighs> mm-hmm. What were they playing it on? Were they trying to use, like... Fucking steering oh, this wheel? Is, I guess this is the 3DO, because I think this is the biggest... Ah, right. Um, 
Right. So that was the biggest release of this game. Makes sense, actually. I, I don't know how the 3DO played. Uh, Just standard controllers, for the most part. Well, like, D-pad. And yeah, like, like D-pad uh, buttons. Okay, okay. Pretty much it. How is that hard to do? What, what do they do to mess it up? Was, like, down left and, like, up right? Uh, I think from the video review I've seen, it was, like, it was just slow inputs or no input. Like, you'd have to press the button a couple times. Uh, and this is wired controllers. D- d- was it, like, laggy, do you think? so? Laggy. That's what I kind of remember. So, like, you put, put you press it once and it doesn't come through, so you press yeah. it again and then they both oh happen at the God. same time. Sorry, before I forget, there is a very crucial piece of information. Go on. That I cannot forget. <laughs> Um, okay. You nearly forgot. I almost did. I almost did forget. Um, yeah. So, the box art for this actually suspiciously looks like Incredible Instant Adoring Boyfriend. Of course. Oh, but, of course. So, on the front cover, it says Kieran Entertainment presents Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Everything is really weirdly photoshopped. <laughs> and then. I guess, like, as a blurb, it says interactive romantic comedy, which I stress interactive in, like, heavy <laughs> quotes. Uh, and then it says... Um, oh, sorry, this is an incredibly low-res image. I'm going to see if I can get a better one. Um, it says, a plumber, a daddy's girl, chickens, race cars, shower scenes, pandas, a nun... And then, if you flip the box over upside down, so you gotta go, after reading all that, it says, get it? Question mark. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? What? (laughs) Get what? What? (laughs) What? (laughs) I'm lost. (laughs) Can somebody hold me? Can we get Gav back? Do you, Where's Gav? Do you get it? No. <laughs> what? Is there a joke in there somewhere? I don't know. Is <laughs> get it? No. <laughs> what? <sighs> Barnaby is actually dying. Push me, is it good? No. <laughs> no. So, 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 I guess I'll set the parameters. It, 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 it is self-proclaimed an interactive romantic comedy. Is it, does it work as that? No. Okay. Because uh, it's not funny. Oh, it comes, it comes <laughs> Well, it's it. it's not funny for the reasons it's yeah. meant to be funny. Yeah, whenever it's trying to be funny, it's not. <laughs> I think. It, is it good? I'm yeah, not when it, sure. No. When it tries to be funny, it just goes very almost sort of rapey or sexual. Almost. Very. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. Insanely. Okay. I, just, I, I just remembered. Take that your line, damn clothes off. There's, there's that line, like, right at the start where um, it's when John sees Jane and and he's thinking in his head and he say, what is it? Something like, well, it's eight and I've seen a ten. Boy, would I, what I do to do her plumbing or something like that. I'm like. Yeah. No. Yeah. Let me find no. the line. Everything about it's it. It's horrible. Comes off aggressive Hor- and predatory in terms of actual romance. Com- like, uh, it- but in terms of it being such a terrible, <laughs> terrible game that it is hilariously bad. Yes, it is good uh, in that sense. Oh, but as a game, no, it's terrible. Um, I'll, inter- I'll interject back in there in a second, Gav. The exact words are, it's eight and I've already seen a ten. What, yeah, you were exactly right. What I wouldn't do to give uh, to her plumbing. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. 
In terms of... I don't... I don't like... Being mean. But then there's like an element... An element of self-awareness... Where this game doesn't... I don't think passes that. Um, But I can't call it sincere either. I think they at least had fun. However... I have to give it this. So unlike, so in my opinion, unlike films and books, and somewhat, yeah, unlike films and books, video so bad it's good video games are very hard to have mm-hmm. because it's because of the interactive nature of them. There's very few games that I would say are so bad they're good. This is definitely there. If not. The Crowning King. I'd have to give it an honourable mention, though, because I've never actually played it. Because I don't trust that download. <laughs> but if I if I could just get my hands on it and play it, because it's not that much different to watching it, <laughs> I would have to crown it the best worst video game. Also, I like that the, 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 the file I... or the, the video I sent you... <laughs> Says plumbers don't wear ties. 4K 60 FPS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the idea that someone tried to watch this. It's 60 in 4K. FPS. I mean, technically, it's 0.0001 FPS, but <laughs> I think that's still too. That's not enough zero. It's 0.0001. Oh, we have to actually do the maths. There's no frames. <laughs> There are frames, they're just... <laughs> I don't believe you, Barnaby. <laughs> Very occasional. <laughs> um, is it good? We're gonna, is that a resounding no, but kind of... As a comedy dating sim game, no. As yeah. as a game that's so terrible it's actually funny, yes. <laughs> yeah, so to be fair, <laughs> under the actual criteria that we set it out under, yeah, no, exactly. it's not. Yeah, <laughs> Un- exactly. Under what it's supposed to be, it is fucking yeah. dreadful. I believe back in episode one we said that this was the cr- the bare minimum criteria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. What the fuck factor? Um, H- hi. Um, this is actually ra- alarmingly high. I- Every time anything happened, I was there like, what the fuck? Almost every other photo, something going on that does not have any, like, reference to the previous shot. So, like, I I would say this is, like, a solid nine. This is one of the most random what the fuck things I've seen in a long while. There's a chicken in there at one point that we neglected to mention other than, like, briefly. Oh, yeah, chicken man. I tried to go back and find it. I couldn't find it. I just, I I honestly started questioning myself. I went through it just to see if um, I remembered correctly that there was a chicken. Yeah, it, it, honestly, it's it's one of those things where like you see it and then you get to the end of it, and it's like, did I see a chicken in that? Like, yeah, you don't really like comprehend it because there's that much weird shit going on throughout. <laughs> it's never addressed. It just kind of you just glaze over it, much like mm. the panda. Mm. It's never ad- the panda. The tie, the running through the streets, and sometimes Jane has more clothes and sometimes less. Yes. Mm. Uh, it's never mentioned. Like when she leaves the office building after she's taken her top off with the with the boss, and then suddenly yeah. she's got her clothes on again, and then the next shot she has no clothes. And you're there like, mm. what? <laughs> yeah, mm. but just, just to throw in a point we made earlier as well, dur- during this scene, as she's putting on and taking off clothes whilst running and, like, just happy and smiling. She's on a train track at one point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's never mentioned. Yeah, that, that never gets oh. thrown It's back just to. there, and then it's gone. Oh, and there's also a random guy that she ends up taking a photo with at one point who is yep. never, not even, like, seen oh, twice. Oh, the, isn't he, like, a food vendor or some yeah. sort of vendor? <laughs> yeah. And then he just looks really happy to be taking this photo with a near topless lady yep again (laughs) very high i would say out of 10 it's a solid nine (sighs) yeah my what the fuck factor is a solid 10 i think this might be the first 10 i've given because um i could give it a 10 
for the intro sequence where John is having the dream. I could give it a 10 out of 10 for the filters. I could give it a 10 out of 10 for the plot. Uh, I could give it a 10 out of 10 for the ending. I could give it a 10 out of 10 for the music. Um, I could give it 10 out of 10. Oh, Bushri wants to talk about the music. Hang on, I'll finish up. I want to, I, but I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. <clears throat> My most what the fuck, the highest rating so far. And probably for the longest time. Just because of what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, Bushby, you want to talk about the music? I mean, I I don't, but I think I think we have to. Like, there's there's just there's bits that are just on repeat. Like the the intro scene <laughs> that in, includes it's just the like random rock and roll generic. <laughs> music but it's like let's repeat that about 10 times <laughs> and yeah, they only had a 30 second clip that they needed to loop over the 15 minute sequence <laughs> yeah that's that's i would say there's about like three different music changes in this entire thing and it's bad Honestly, None of them are good. I'd forgotten about the music because it just there was too much going yeah, on. That the music becomes how the could least you forget <laughs> about the music? The music, the music isn't leveled at all to any of the other recordings. <laughs> any of the VA, it's just bled. But in the grand scheme of things, compared to everything else going on, the music seems relatively normal. The music just feels like a low budget game from like 1994. I can honestly forgive the music. I can't forgive anything else. I don't, I don't understand what happened. I want to know how much drugs they no, took. No, actually, no. Um, I don't take the music thing as an excuse because it, remember, as I mentioned briefly, 3DO pushing forward that CD technology. CDs. I mean, CDs are CDs. They've see they've always always been mm. pretty much the same since their invention they play the quality of music i the, that cds do hasn't really changed much it depends on your speakers you also said it came on pc first though right and cd <laughs> well maybe they just didn't change the game that much when they put it onto the 3do as well i was thinking but it came on a CD. I've seen the CD. It didn't come on a floppy. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So both, like the only thing that the thing that was remarkable at 3DO was that it's a home console, so you don't need to buy the PC. So it's not even like this game has been compressed to shit. It was just compressed to shit to begin with. <laughs> okay, you've got me there. I can't. I can't defend it. I can't defend it. I'm sorry. So who who hasn't who hasn't given a a what the fuck? Hello. All right. Be. <laughs> I did the fuck. Uh, where do you rank this? Oh. Is this higher or lower to Tetsuo? Oh. Ha- mm. For me, it's higher. Maybe about equal. Equal. Equal, but on a completely different scale. Mm. Because it's just... I don't, I don't think there's anything like this. <laughs> or at least if there is, it should be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> the closest I can think of, and we're not covering this, one, because I'm not comfortable with covering this, mm -hmm. and two, uh, it's an actual game and we'd have to find a time to play it together, uh -huh. um, is uh, the, actually it's a series, the Super Seducer games. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, where you play as a, well, I'm going to call it a pickup art artist. Um where you basically it's a, it is actually full motion video i'll give it that mm -hmm. but basically all you do is stalk women until they go on a date with you yeah you play through loads of different That's scenarios the cool, yeah they're basically all the same scenario I, yeah, that's the closest yeah. I can imagine. I, I can think of. Yeah. So yeah, Super Seducer is a spiritual successor to Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Honestly, yes. When I when I watched this, all I was thinking was this is just old school Super Seducer. And I kind of feel like this is where Super Seducer got his idea. 
<laughs> Honestly. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I'm going to top myself next time I have to choose something. Also, I've just realized I have to watch all of uh, The Elephant Princess Season 2 now. Yep, good luck, uh, boy. Because Bushby watched... <laughs> You have to as well. Yeah, I, I'm Gav. down. I like it. Just never got around to it. <laughs> um, which I, I'm afraid I might have to watch <laughs> Elephant Princess Season 1. Because I yeah, have to have a catch up. Hang on. Let me yeah, see how many episodes You need to watch it. Hey, like, There's about 23, 24. In total? Yeah. Uh, no, in Season 1. First season. One, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's, it's about the same in the second season. Right, you're going to have to give it's, me a couple it's weeks. Fun. They're only about, you know half an hour episode yeah you'll have if to give you me a couple weeks mm, you could binge the entire season in a weekend if, if you I'll really see if I can find I don't really want to spend my weekend <laughs> can we see if I can find you a filler the... guide <laughs> yes <laughs> I, I don't um, know if there is one but yeah right, I'll do my I'll, I, I'll, I will be as quick as I can whose turn is it next uh who was uh, last week my husband Bushby Hello. Bushby's next so not your next one your okay. next one after will book that in as Elephant Princess Season 2. <sighs> we'll yeah. book it in. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that's pretty. I'll make a note of that right now. All right. <laughs> <Dear I'll, laughs> uh, I'm, I'm so happy for this. Can we just fast forward? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, right. That was just the audience seeing how the sausage is made. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what? Yep. It's Barnaby, uh, yes. Would you watch this? Or would you would you play this? Would I play with your yeah, mother? first video game? Um, on a side note, the one game I really do want to play together is Indigo Prophecy or Fahrenheit. Right. We need to play that. I'll book that in for some point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Would I watch this with my mother? My gut reaction is. Absolutely, hell no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I kind of want to see everyone's <laughs> oh, reaction. No. Oh god. <laughs> I. I t- yeah. I t- <laughs> out of everything I've shown so far, like I don't. I really mean it. I don't know how I'm gonna top myself <laughs> from this point on. I mean, I also didn't know how I taught myself with Tetsuo, so... Well, you managed um, it, so... Very, very, um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, I, yeah mm, I just, I keep going in loops here. Um, <laughs> someone take the mic away from me. Okay. Uh, Gav, I, would you watch this with your mum? I would not, actually. I, I feel like coward. this is on Tetsuo. Absolute coward. There's too much going on for me to be out. I, my mum would be there and she'd be there like, I, what's, why, what? What? And chicken mask like, honestly chicken mask. I'd be there going like I don't know uh, and I just I just wouldn't want to I just don't think it's okay so in total I've watched this about three times and I am still like what D- f- fiction narrator yeah 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 Honestly, you yeah. would think it would be something I would watch with my mom, considering everything else I said I would. But this is just there, like it's just so weird. I just, I just be there, like, what? Why so, am I showing you this? Are you, are you refraining from watching this with your mom because of the content or because of what it is? Both. I think I feel like the content is just so weird, and I just don't think she'd get it. And I just, I just. I feel like I find it funny because it is so bad, but I don't think I would enjoy it if I didn't like bad games. Are you guys opposed to me just playing the playthrough of the game as the video of this podcast? <laughs> oh, you mean the full thing? Yeah, like uh, like the video. I, I, so like what the video viewer would watch. I'd keep the bit where Gav is pretending to be a pirate. I could put it in a <laughs> corner if you want. I just gonna. I just feel like playing it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because I I feel like our ramble can't possibly describe what it is. Yeah, I think that's great. I think just have yeah, it. Yeah. Uh... Okay, I'll make a note to do that. 
See, there's just more behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Bush B. Yeah. Bush B. Would you, um, would you yeah. subject? No. Absolutely Straight up not. no. Right. I guess I have to stick to my guns now. Yep. <laughs> hey, mum. I know the, I know this, this recent pandemic has made it <laughs> hard for us to see each other. And I know you haven't seen me in now in what is now a year, has been a year. You have not seen me in the flesh for what is now a year. Here, <laughs> yeah. let us watch plumbers don't wear ties together. Your mom's just gonna be there, like, how? What? How much weed did you smoke? What? 